Don't worry, everybody, I'm here. Yeah, we're a few minutes late, so we're now on the trial ends. So we'll be underway in six or seven minutes' time for the game. <laughs> you heard I was on the roof with the aerial. <laughs> well, don't, don't put it past me. You never know, maybe one day. You wouldn't be surprised, Tony. I'm that dedicated. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, unfortunately, I am. Yeah. <clears throat> I think those aerials that you get where you can put them outside on the roof, I think they're like 50 grand. So I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. So, uh, if you can just let me know, please, as normal, if you can hear me, if my audio is okay. Tonight will be, like, the audio will be a bit more clear and a bit more loud tonight. Last night when we streamed the singles at Akel, uh, I do have to be a little bit careful how, how loud I talk when I'm sat at the end of the rink and the players are down this end bowling away from me because they can hear me on the mat. So that's why sometimes the audio is a little bit quiet if you hear me commentate and it's not very loud. That is the reason. So we're just on with the trial ends. Lots of news and updates to give you tonight. Bouncing off the ropes just said uh, what a game that was, a singles game. Yeah, I'll talk about that shortly. I'll just crack on with the game for now and uh, I'll discuss that game that Aaron had during the stream. So anyway, so we are here at the Norfolk Bowling Club. And tonight's game uh, should be an absolute cracker. We've got a national men's pairs. So this is between uh, Wayne Wilgris and Rick Summers. And they are against uh, Aaron Johnson and James Sigolo. That should be a really good game. So if you can just let me know, if you can hear me okay, just leave a comment in the chat box. Let me know if my audio is nice and clear. And then we will crack into it. Back to a single camera tonight. Because we are back at the Norfolk Bowling Club. And as most of you know, we can't use two cameras here at the moment because the network signal just isn't quite good enough. But hopefully one day that will change. But for now we've just got a single camera and I'll commentate on the game, give you a bit of context as to what's going on when the jack is up the other end. Obviously coming down this way you've got a lovely view. Sound good from the USA. Well, Terry Edens. <coughs> Hi, Terry. Glad to have you with us tonight here in. Oh, oh, I can't even say the sunny UK. It's, it's cold and miserable at the moment here in the UK. I don't know what it's like over there. What state are you from? In the USA. So uh, I think we've only had a couple of other people that have actually commented that have been from the USA so good to have you with us I 
VA. Uh, what's that? I'm just trying to think. Ah, Virginia. Okay. Awesome. It's so all the way from Virginia. Well, I hope you enjoy tonight's game. So, Bolt, this is Bowls TV bringing you another live stream from here in Norfolk. Tonight's game is from the <coughs> Norfolk Bowling Club here in Norwich in Norfolk. So we've got a pairs game, national pairs, semi-final. So the rules for the national pairs is this is 18 ends and if the jack does go out of rank then that end is to be played again as per the uh, EIBA rules. So 18 ends and if the jack goes out that's just class as a dead end. It doesn't go onto the respot. There's no respot rules in the EIBA at the moment. So this is the semi-final, so whoever wins tonight's game will go through and play Mark Royal from Risby Gate in the final. So big game tonight. So these four players are now two games away from reaching the uh, indoor national finals, which will be March this year at Nottingham here in the UK. So whoever wins this game will go through and play Mark Royal and his partner from Risby Gate. And that will be played on a neutral green somewhere here um, in, well, I would say Norfolk, but uh, Mark is from Risby Gate. And the last time Mark played somebody from this club, we played at, well, they played at Dis. That was Wayne and Mark in the Champion of Champions fi uh, area final. And they played at this. So I have been informed that there's a good chance that we'll be going back to this because whoever wins this game, obviously both teams are from here at the Norfolk Bowling Club. But we will see. Obviously that has nothing to do with me where we go to stream the finals. So here we go then. Good start by Aaron. 
Looks like his weight was perfect. So uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, leave them in the chat box and I will reply to most comments. I do sometimes miss the odd comment, but um, the comments are not on the screen at all times. I take them off and then sometimes if there's loads of comments, I miss some of them. Aaron loves a short jack. Yeah, he does love his short jack or the mat up. Short Jack, yeah, he's uh, he's normally very good on this length. Look at that in front. Yeah, lay down. You know, just arriving in, Christine. No, I need a short roll. Good try. Hi, Good try. Good try. I think he's going to draw up and just put you a nice and sharp Yeah, you just got to play in there with a bit of pace. Come on. He's got this clean whistle. Come on. Either way. I draw down there. Just pass those for two feet up, two yards up. So someone just said, uh, do you think when you spin your hand on the delivery it doesn't help? Well, no, that isn't uh, that isn't really the case. I mean, there's lots of different deliveries out there. And as most people will probably agree, as long as you can be consistent in whatever you do, that's really the main thing. Uh, I mean, some, some people out there have got some really crazy deliveries, but they just they're just good at, um, at being consistent with that delivery that's all it really comes down to there's certain deliveries out there that are not, that are not exactly textbook but as I say as long as you're consistent in, in what you do every single time then uh, then you'll be a, you know, a good consistent player that's really what it always comes down to I don't know who's holding shot at the moment. It's hard to really say. I think Aaron. I think Aaron and James are one down. Well done. One down. And he sat directly behind it. I think you're down there, just trying to chip it away. 
So who have we got listening tonight then on the stream? So earlier we had uh, Terry Edens. He's from Virginia. I think he said he was, yeah, he's Virginia, USA. We had Brian, Hi. Brian Wilgris. He's in Dorset. Oh, Obviously Tony Seaborn is watching, I would imagine. Uh, who else have we got? Bouncing off the ropes. What is your name actually? The, because you're on most of my streams. Yeah, bouncing off the ropes. I see you come up. <laughs> On most of the streams that we do. Tony Seaborn. Hi Tony. Good to have you back. Brian Wilgris said uh, he's watching his nephew. Awesome. Yeah, well played, Alan. Yeah. Just crept rounds. So that first end then, uh, Aaron and James picked up A3. said uh, he's trying to get some tips pointers for the upcoming commentary well Tony I don't know about that you you're already quite good we you did lots in you in the summer and I thought we made a good team but if you do want some some tips and pointers the main one don't talk about politics <laughs> whatever you do don't talk about politics Otherwise, it gets it gets uh, uh, it's, it'll just be a mess. Don't mention the, the government. Don't mention Trump. Don't mention Biden. Don't mention. Uh, Sunak. Just don't even go there. Life is easier that way. So, good head then. Uh, looks like Aaron is still holding one. But apart from that, Tony, it's easy stuff. As you know, you did commentary last uh, in the summer. Yeah, I thought we were quite good. Dream team. So, yeah, just to let everybody know, uh, Tony Seaborn has volunteered to do a little bit of commentary over the next couple of months. So, it'd be awesome to have him back. He's really good on the commentary, as you all know. He did some commentary in the summer outdoors. 
So it would be great to have him uh, on the stream because some of the games I will actually be playing myself. And not only that, it's also good to have someone else here next to me uh, that commentates on the game at the same time. Uh, we haven't actually done that yet, so we do have a spare microphone, but we can only really do that. When we go to County Arts. Yeah, Tony said he's going to come there and, and help out, which is awesome. Can we mention the upcoming tournament at Risby Gate? Oh, well played. Oh, great ball, Wayne. So Wayne, Wayne has just drew that. Awesome ball. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure we can, Tony. Yeah, so the Risby Gate Masters is going to be coming up um, in February. Feb February the, the 11th. Oh, what an effort, James. <laughs> Oh, I'll see what Wayne does here. So the Risby Gate Masters is going to be uh, held at the on the 11th of February. So that is a tournament that's being ran by Mark Royal. So there's lots of great players that are going to be turning up to that event. Unfortunately, Bowls TV can't attend that particular day because I'm actually playing some Federation finals and it's just uh, it's just too difficult to try and change everything so yeah I can't I can't uh, stream the Risby gate this year uh, but hopefully we'll be invited to stream it next year so why is having a little pop at this me, 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 me. Good shot, well done, well done. Well played, that could be worth a couple there. Maybe even three. So yeah, the Risby Gate Masters is going to be happening on the 11th of February. So if you do want to go go down there, and uh, that's obviously going to be at the uh, Risby Gate Indoor Bowls Club. So if you would like any more information on that, then just contact Mark Royal, and uh, he will tell you exactly what the format is and times and and everything else. Uh, but it should be some great players attend. It was a really good contact, Mark, and uh, you can find out a bit more information that way.
I've just had a message on my phone for the first time ever to say my phone is overheating. <laughs> That's the first time we've ever had that. How really strange. It's not even that warm in here either. So if the stream does suddenly go down, it's probably because my phone has just caught fire. So the score then is 3-2. Uh, so that last end, Wayne and Rick picked up two. And uh, Aaron has just got two right on the jack. So if you would like to share tonight's stream, then uh, just go below the video, there will be a share link. Just click share and you can uh, email it to, to anybody else that you think would want to see tonight's game. You can uh, WhatsApp it, Facebook it as well. So lots of ways to share tonight. And if you're not already subscribed to Bowls TV yet, then uh, it would be brilliant if you could head over and subscribe to our channel. We have actually just hit um, a thousand, I think. We're just over a thousand now. We actually hit a thousand today. So that was awesome. My target was always a thousand. And the subscribers does make a big difference because it means we reach a much bigger audience, which is going to be good for the sport. <laughs> You know, good for bowls, but also good for the players because when the players get onto the live stream, and the more subscribers we have, then the more people will automatically get notified of a of a live stream game. So the players will get a lot more exposure by being on the stream the, with the more subscribers that we have. So we're certainly uh, off to a good start, anyway been going for about six months now we started ball tv in july last year so about six and a half months now things are going well feedback has has been uh, generally really good there's still more improvements to make though we're going to upgrade our cameras at some point and other various bits and pieces so yeah still lots more improvements to come if you are wondering why we we have a single camera tonight, it's just because the network isn't good enough here at this particular bowls club. It's just not quite good enough. But it won't be like this forever. We will be able to stream both ends of the of the uh, of the rink at some stage. Uh, it's a great ball by Wayne. It looks like Wayne has just drew right around the back. So could be a back toucher there. So James. James might be, yeah, James is just going to be a bit positive on his backhands. And also, everybody, don't forget, we do have our main sponsor, Bush Hill Bowls. So if you do need any bowls equipment, accessories, then head over to bushhillbowls.co.uk or you can visit their store if you're closer to their shop. They are in Enfield in London. So pop along, go see Jerry. They've got a great online store, lots of bowls equipment on there, clothing, different accessories, and 
also lots of uh, disabled equipment as well for disabled bowlers so go and check them guys out lots of great stuff Hello, Mark. Good to have you on the stream, Mark Partridge. So who else have we got out there tonight? And where are you watching the game from? Let me know what the picture looks like as well. Anyone watching this on your TV? Oh, James is going quick now. Oh, you just got the short ball. So, what does the pitch actually look like, please, uh, on your on your device, on your TV? A lot of people seem to watch the games, the, the streams on their smart TVs. So we're streaming this in 720p, if that makes sense to some of you, which isn't the highest resolution, but it's, it's okay. And it's all we can really do here. I can't go any higher than that. Well, Wayne, let's try to draw another one in there. So I think James is going to go again here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I think he's got something. Oh, he's got the front. Yeah, had the front ball out. So I think he got one out there. Picture on your iPad is great. Awesome. Okay, that's good to know. Right then, so three apiece then. So Wayne and uh, Rick just picked up another single. How is Rick's pace? Pulled up a couple of feet. Yeah. Uh, Aaron's trying here. Yeah, uh, great start by Aaron. Yeah, uh, well played, Aaron. Awesome start. Well, he's trying here. Great, great effort by Richard. Well, I think he's in for second, yeah. And he's fanned. Yeah, it's a good ball. Fancy 
there. No, there. He's moved it. So uh, Aaron and James are holding two, from what I can see. Great effort here by Wayne. Uh, well played. Yeah, I think it's the one. James is trying to control this. His pace is very good, yeah. Probably just needed an extra six or seven inches of, of green. Well, he's good again here. Uh, one in, one out, but that's, that's a better shot ball this time. Wayne didn't like that. But I'll tell you what, that isn't that isn't far out at all. His pace was perfect. <laughs> so uh, Aaron and James are one down, but they're not going to do anything too ambitious here. They're only one down. 
the score on the game is three all after three in, so they're not going to be too ambitious here. We've got some more games coming up this weekend. So this Saturday afternoon, I'm hoping to be able to stream the semi-final of the National Triples here in Area 7. So that's going to be between uh, Akel and Turpins. So Turpins are Essex, I believe. So that's going to be... Uh, my own club where I'm going to be live streaming from. That's the same club as where I went yesterday, where I was last night, where I streamed the game between uh, Tia and uh, Anna Chalk. So hopefully we'll be able to stream Saturday afternoon. Hopefully the, the network will play ball and everything will be okay. It was okay last night. We've made a few changes at our local club. So, yeah, we should be able to stream with two cameras on Saturday afternoon. And then moving forward from there, on Tuesday night, we have the national singles, the ladies' national singles. Now, I'm hoping to be able to stream that. That's between uh, Catherine Rednall and Bex Wilgris, so that'll be a, another brilliant game. That's going to be up here as well. So as long as the bowling club approve us to come next week, then uh, which they normally do, they're normally in full support of what we do, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, as long as everything gets approved, then yeah, we should be able to come up here next week and stream the ladies' national singles. That's going to be on Tuesday, and then Wednesday we have the semi-final of the open pairs. That's going to be at Beckles. So that's all confirmed. We're going to be streaming that with two cameras. That's going to be next Wednesday. And then next Thursday is going to be the area final of the national mixed pairs. So that's going to be the first final that we're going to stream. And that is next Thursday. So that's going to be between Wayne, Wayne Wilgris and Roger Barnbrook. So Roger is playing with Jenny Kirby. And Wayne Wilgris is playing with his uh, wife, Bex. So that's the national mixed pairs. That's going to be the final, the area final for next. That's going to be Thursday next week. So that should be another really good game. And we'll be able to stream the two cameras there as well. And the venue will be County Arts in Norwich. So that's already been confirmed. So we're definitely going to be going there to do that. And that is just for the next week. So we've got a full calendar over the next couple of months. Lots of games coming up. So lots of awesome games to look forward to.
So I think Wayne is just drew another one in. It's hard to say what the situation is at the moment. Sorts of lens and nothing did to work. Oh dear, Aaron just lost the jack. So Amy uh, just asked who else is playing tonight. Who else is playing tonight? Well Amy, I'll pan the camera around so you can have a look. They look like just league games. <laughs> I think most of them are just league games, some Aussie pairs, and there's also, could be national triples by the look of it, by the looks of it I think, but mostly just league games I think tonight. <coughs> so 
So the score now is four all. That last then James and uh, Aaron just picked up a single. So four apiece after five ends. Good again here. Yeah, another good ball. Yeah, it's a good reply from Rick. Just gone through second ball. That's finished really well. trying here is he just a little bit through is he a bit pacey well there's not a lot yeah there's not a lot at all is he going to sit on his own no that's finished really well though Aaron is definitely more pacey here is he gonna is he gonna sit yeah, it's worth four shots that. Yeah, Oh, that is harsh. Yeah, it's just gone through. He was just trying to draw to the blues, but found every single gap. Oh, Wayne's trying here. Yeah, well played, Wayne. That's the one. Exactly the same pace in there still. That one to that's perfect. There's really good. Well, Wayne's pace is perfect again. Oh, it's just gone over. Thank 
Oh, he's got something. What's he got? Oh, connections. Wow. Look at that. Huh. Wow. Well, that's worked out pretty well. And they're holding five. So Wayne, Wayne's four down here, so big bowl really, big bowl here. Well, it could be a couple. So just a single then I think. So that last end then, so it was a three. So James and Aaron picked up a three on that last end, so yeah, good end for them. Good ball by Aaron. Yeah, almost a back toucher.
score you can see in the back there 7474 to James and Aaron. I think Aaron and James are holding at least one and they've got one bowl each left to come so I think James is just trying to decide what to do with his last bowl because I think one of his last bowls I think his second bowl he was uh, I think it was his, his last bowl actually that he uh, he drew in and I think he sat on the jack pushed it forward but they're still holding one so uh, just depends where he plays this because there is a little bit of a target now so Wayne might be Wayne might be uh, coming down with a bit of pace. Well, Aaron didn't look happy there. So I think that's another single to uh, Aaron and James.
back up. Get a full thing kick. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, Five or own, hold on. You were two foot last time. Well done, Now another one in there. So it could be three or four down here again for Wayne. What's he like here? Oh, what an effort. Oh, well played, Wayne. Yeah, he's drew it again. Well played. Yeah, well, it's not a shot, but it's certainly useful there. Another one in. So I think Wayne, Wayne just wants to get another one in there. I think it's one about one against five. So yeah, I think Wayne is just going to try and get another one in the head. Has uh, finished yet? Is it? Well, uh, pace was yeah, pace was okay. So, uh, 
John Carter. Evening, John. So John just says he bowls at the Northampton and District Indoor Bowls Club. You can watch this coverage for the first time and you're enjoying the game. Awesome, John. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Yeah, I've played it at your club a few times. Yeah, it's a really nice club. And your Wi-Fi is actually brilliant. <laughs> really good Wi-Fi signal there. I, I streamed a little bit in, in the qualifiers. I played there and I streamed. And yeah, I do remember that it was a, a really good club to stream at. Network was really good. Yeah, Green is, was really good as well. A really nice club. Yeah, good to have you here. Oh, I'm not swaying like this time. Oh, he's just going to go over again. Well, if he gets that jack over there, then uh, that's worth five or six. I think I know what James and Alan are talking about because they've got a chance here to pick up a five or six if the jack comes out to the right hand side and then Wayne's got one last bowl however if James does go for that then they are leaving themselves open to then Wayne Wayne moving the jack to the left and they're going to sit five or six so it's a case of does he put cover in or does he try to move, try to change the angles and take the shot away? What an effort. Well played, really good. <laughs> well, that's worth four shots. Five. It was certainly a bit of a risk playing that, but he, I think he had to change it. I think he had to change the angles because Wayne had a chance there to uh, to trail that jack all the way through and he's still got a chance but it's certainly a lot harder now because it's now a bad jack. Certainly a little bit more certainly a little bit more tricky to get that jack through now. But if he does that's worth that could be worth six or even seven. So, big chance here for Wayne. He's never normally far away, and he, he's, he's good at the big pressure ball, so I don't think he's going to be far away with this. So, Aaron and James just pick up another four. So, Aaron and James take the lead. So, 12 4. Hi Stephen, good to have you on the stream again tonight. 
So just let me all know everybody, uh, the Bush Hill Bowls logo, where would you like me to move it? Would you rather it be in the left hand corner? Obviously I have to leave it on because it's our sponsor. We have to leave it on the screen but I can move it so let me know where you think I should put it. I can put it in the middle of the screen. <laughs> How about that? I can leave it in the middle of the screen if that looks okay. I'm sure my sponsor would love it to be there, especially if I made it bigger as well. How Jerry from Bushel Bowls would love his logo to be on my streams in the middle. Move it somewhere else. Let's try it. Let's try top left hand corner, shall we? Let's try it over there. We can always move it again. There you go. <clears throat> Jerry from Bush Hill Bowls just suddenly got all excited thinking that I was going to leave the banner in the middle of the live stream for all future games. All right, I'm just going to zoom in on the head so you can see what's going on because I, I do normally, when I've got a single camera, I try to get the delivery of the player in and then also try to get a little bit of the head in. But when it's a long jack, it's very difficult to do that. So, <coughs> so I'll just leave it zoomed into the head. You'll know who's bowling anyway because James has got orange bowls and... Uh, and Wayne has got red. So you can see the score look at the top there, 12 4. Great last ball by Wayne. Don't know who's holding shot. I think it could be Wayne now. Wayne and uh, Rick could be holding a shot here. Hard to tell. Oh, James is in the area, but uh, he's just fell out. Don't forget everybody, we have our Facebook page, Balls TV, so you can go over to Facebook as well and you can stay up to date with all of our future streams. So just go to Facebook, type in Balls TV and we will come up. And you can, uh, you can either follow our page or like it, do whatever you like, but if you stay up to date on that page, 
all of our future streams and updates for our YouTube channel will go onto that Facebook group. And also, don't forget, you've got Bowls Talk Norfolk, which have uh, been a big supporter of Bowls TV since we started in July. I'll never forget that. I do fully appreciate uh, the people behind Bowls Talk Norfolk. So I always like to give them guys a shout out. It's a, it's a good, good Bowls group. Lots of great people. So if you're not already part of of their Facebook group, head over. That's Bowls Talk Norfolk. I think they're up to about 2,000 members now. Are you Tony, I think? About 2,000, just over. Something like that. So, yeah, it's a good Bowls group to be part of. Yesterday, we actually went over to County Arts in Norwich and I did a few tests. So I took all my equipment over there yesterday afternoon and tested the network signal and just to basically see what it was like because we're going to be at County Arts a fair bit over the next few months. As far as I can see, a lot of the area finals here in Norfolk are going to be at County Arts. So... Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I could get a decent signal and just figure out where I was going to sit when we have a camera at either end. And it actually worked out really good. Their signal, their, their network, I actually connected to their own club's Wi-Fi because I tested my own networks. EE and O2 were just dreadful, like within the club. But I connected to the County Arts Wi-Fi. It's actually really good. So that's good news. Good positive news for a change. So when we stream at County Arts, yeah, I'm optimistic that everything should go quite well. If you remember when we streamed the Champion of Champion final, the men's final over at DIS, we had a very similar strength network over there. And that went really well and County Arts is very similar to, to the uh, strength of network or the network strength that we have so yeah we're optimistic that yeah, it should all go quite well I'm looking forward to it of course we'll have to wait until we do the first stream just to make sure everything is okay but um, yeah it does look good all the tests that I did yesterday, it seems absolutely fine to stream two cameras and I can sit in the middle and give you some really good coverage of some great finals that are going to be coming up over the next couple of months. Yeah, Brian Wilgris. Yeah, Brian just said. Uh, sorry, I can't really commentate on the game because I don't know what's going on up there. I can't really see. It's just a big clump of bowls. Uh, but regarding the picture, the logo, I can put it in the in the bottom right hand corner or the bottom left hand corner. The thing is, when I zoom out and I show you the head coming down this way, the logo's in the way. At least if the logo is. In the top, it's not in the way of the scoreboard most of the time. Oh. So Wayne, Wayne is. Oh, has he got it? Still one down. Oh dear. So Wayne and and Rick dropped another single there. So thirteen four. 
So halfway through this semi-final then, and the score is 13-4. Uh, great start again by Aaron. Uh, perfect start. Uh, great reply by Rick. Uh, it's just pulled up a couple of feet. Good effort by Richard. Oh, is it? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant effort. Yeah, a second bowl. Well, I want to just push this through slightly, but that's finished well. It's always good there. It's gone through about three feet, but certainly got more value there than he was to pull up a yard short. Just missed that, Jack. Great effort. Someone just asked uh, the score update. Yeah, it's 13-4, so you can see it. 
Oh, and I've got something to tell you all. Some of you probably already know this, but this is this was even new to me. Well, oh, has he got it? Oh, he's pushed it over. Oh, it was a great effort by Wayne. So, what I was going to say was, if you're watching this game, or any live stream, or any video, uh, this this definitely works on my live streams because I've actually tried it myself and I was quite surprised that it worked. If you're watching one of my games on the live stream, you can actually zoom in if you're watching on your mobile. So you can just you can just move the screen in and out and you can actually zoom in and move the picture around. Now, I don't think you can do it when we're actually live, but if you watch... Um, if you watch a, I don't think you can anyway, I've never actually tried it on my phone, obviously I'm always streaming from my phone so I can't do it, but I've tried it on replays and if you, if you watch a replay, you can zoom in on your phone. And I was actually quite surprised that you can do that, yeah, but just to let you know, so any games you watch on a replay on your phone, you can easily zoom in and zoom out and m move the screen around so you can see more of the head or more of the players, whatever you want. So I just thought that was quite cool. That was actually something that I even that I learned about a month ago. Well, probably a couple of months ago now. Some of you probably know about that. Zooming works live. I can zoom my phone right now. Okay, Stephen, brilliant. Works on my phone, yeah. So... You don't have to wait for me to actually zoom then, you can just zoom in yourself. Awesome. So yeah, just a little, uh, a little tip. Well, it looks like uh, Aaron and James are still holding shot. James has just pulled up short and Wayne's got one ball left to come, so Let's see what Wayne does here. Well, so another single then. So James and Aaron get another one. So the score is now 14-4 uh, to James and Aaron. But plenty of time left in this match here. There's still eight ends left to go. Yeah, good start by Rick. So for those of you that don't know, this is the semi-final of the men's national pairs here in Norfolk, area number seven. So the winner of this goes through to play Mark 
Royal from Risby Gate, and that will be played on a neutral venue, a neutral green. We don't know where that's going to be played yet, but I think it might be played at this. I did actually speak to Mark, and he did actually say that he's probably going to push for this. Because that's kind of halfway, like from here to where Risby Gate is. That's going to have to be a neutral venue. So this would actually be a really good venue. It certainly works for Bold TV because we've streamed there before, and that was brilliant. Yeah, lovely friendly club. Network is really good. Nice little seating area and a bar area to sit. So uh, yeah, it's a, a really good friendly club. So be great if we can go back there and stream the final of the pairs that would be brilliant It's going quick. It's not finished yet. Just Liz K just said, yeah, the zoom function is brilliant. You can easily see who has shot. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a free tip for you all. Tune in again next week for another Bowls TV super tip. I don't know if you can do it on your TV or iPad or laptop or anything but you obviously definitely you can definitely do it on a phone with your fingers so yeah you can uh, you can zoom in and move it around so if you don't want to watch the part of the screen that I'm showing you then you can move the screen around James and Aaron are winning 14-4. So Wayne and Richard are 14-4 down. So Wayne's going to go again here. Oh dear, dear, he's just hit the jack onto Aaron's bowl and that's just stuck. John Locke just said you can zoom on your tablet. Okay, awesome. Yeah, Aaron definitely is, uh, he's putting them on, definitely. Saying that though, um, Richard isn't having his best game. Richard is normally much better than what he is, what he's playing so tonight. Uh, tonight, he's a very good player. Uh, him, him and 
Wayne obviously won the national indoor pairs a couple of years ago and they won the British Isles pairs. So yeah, a very, very good pair, both of them. So someone just asked me, what did I think of the under-25 final? Well, yeah, I was going to discuss this on the stream. Yeah, I actually watched the entire game. And, well, what a game. I'm sure a lot of you have watched it as well. So Aaron played uh, Reese uh, in the under-25 final. Yeah, and it was a, a brilliant, brilliant game. I mean, to be honest, the first set, um, Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so, yeah, the the guy that Aaron played, Reese Graham, they played in the uh, that was the final of the under twenty five, and that was this weekend just gone, and yeah, brilliant game. The first set, um, I didn't think Reese played played that well. You know, Aaron definitely played slightly better in the first set. But then in the second set, Reese came back really strong and uh, some of his conversions were good. And then, of course, in the second set, Aaron was 9-7 up with uh, just one end left to play. So the last end, Aaron was 9-7 up and Reese needed a three. So if you've not already seen the shot, well, I'm sure a lot of you already have. Yeah, it's on the EIBA, so you can go and check it out on there. Uh, but it's a brilliant conversion. So Reese was two down, and he had uh, three thirds, and he needed a three to take it to a tie break, and he came down with a an absolutely spectacular, incredible bowl, and took all three of Aaron's bowls out to get a three to take it to a tie break. And uh, and then it went one all at the tie break, and then Aaron one two one. Aaron got the last. Well played, Aaron. Uh, well played, Aaron. Yeah, so Aaron ended up uh, winning, but it was a good game to watch. It was really good, but yeah, an incredible conversion shot by uh, by Reese to take him to a tie break. That was an incredible bowl. I was actually watching it and I was I was completely gobsmacked that he actually pulled it off uh, and I think I think a lot of people were surprised because it was obviously a, a very very difficult shot but it was a brilliant bowl to pull off under the circumstances to take it to a tie break and then uh, first end of the tie break um, he then uh, I think Aaron won the first end didn't he and then he almost won the seconds but Reese Reese drew within about 15 inches from the ditch to get the shot yeah really good game if you've not already watched it then you can go and watch that on the replay I think within the EIBA really good, Jim. go on the EIBA website you can you can go and watch the the replay back as far as I know anyway I think it's free Jack back to John. Look for a bit over the 
Add two foot, mate. If you touch it, you're really good. If you miss it and finish here, you're even better. Yeah, well done. Good thing. Yeah, really good. No matter what. Really good, Jim. Boom! Boom! Well played. Yeah, well played, James. Great ball. Well, that was a bit strange. Yeah, he's crept in. Oh, what's his pace like? What's his pace like? Yep, yeah, he's got another one, yeah. Well played, Wayne. So, he's got two there, so that closes the gap now to just ten. Well, it's a good day. Yeah. 
down, is it? I thought they were the team on the left of the scoreboard as a whole team. Well, they are, but they're both going up. Is anything in the room? Oh, right, so 16-6. Oh, yeah, I see. It's been live streamed on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. I bet it's got quite a lot of people watching, hasn't it? 2.7 million. 2.7 million. Quite a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's not that many. <laughs> You got 2.7 million followers. Yeah, you got my personal account. I got five million on it. <laughs> no, that was just five million. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the team up for that Friday, 2nd of Feb, right. if you want to have a look. That's the, that's on the, the week Friday. See you later. Yeah.
Yeah, just gone through. Good ball by Aaron. So that last time then, Aaron and James picked up another single. So that takes their lead to 17. So 17-6 now. Come on, one again here. Good ball, uh, well played. He's just moved that jack, though. So there's still only one. See ya. See you, Paulie. Adam Dredge, second camera required. Yep. Yeah, I know. Uh, most most people will know that we can't have two cameras where we are in this location. It just doesn't work. Uh, but anywhere we go where we can use two cameras, then I do. Yeah, the game we streamed last night 
we had a camera either end that worked out quite well just can't always use two cameras because of the network issues unfortunately that's sometimes out of my hands I wouldn't change a thing Try again, Jim. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks really good. Right, oh, James is close here. Very good. Well uh, another one in there. It's good ball. Jim's is near enough touch of us. Four and a half, five inch gap. Go in there if you want. Try it underneath Aaron. <laughs> Same bowl pushes those away, Jim, just onto yours. Did you add any? Good try. No, you're going to be good. Uh, far away. Good. Oh, another bowl in there. Well done. Still one down. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, one down. That was a good hit. Just yeah, it's a good hit. Just a bit unlucky with the result. So that last and then uh, James and Aaron pick up another single. So the score is now 18-6. 18-6 to James and Aaron. In case you don't know, Bowls TV is sponsored by Bushill Bowls. You see that we have the uh, banner on our live streams. So if you do need any uh, Bowls equipment, 
bowls, accessories, equipment, clothing, anything like that, then uh, head over to bushelbowls.co.uk. Lots of great stuff on their website, and they also have a store as well in Enfield in London. And if you do have any questions about any of their items and accessories on their site, then just contact Jerry at Bush Hill Bowls, and he will help you out. So the score is 18-6 and there's four ends left to play in this game. Yeah, the winner of this game uh, plays Mark Royal and his partner. So that will be on a neutral green, so whoever wins this game. They're going to end up playing Mark and his partner, probably at this, but we will see. Obviously, it has nothing to do with me where they play, but I just know from the last time uh, Mark Royal played somebody from the Norfolk Bowling Club, which, and that was Wayne, a lot of you, I think, tuned in to watch that. It was it was a really good game. Uh, that was a diss. So I think Mark will probably want to play a diss again. Because it has to be a neutral green. And a green which is going to be fair for both teams. So approximately halfway halfway distance we also have the national singles coming up soon another semi-final that isn't something that we're going to be able to stream because I'm actually streaming another game so next week here at the bowling club uh, Aaron Johnson is playing Stephen Winter so that is going to be the other semi-final of the national singles uh, Mark Royal is in the other semi-final and he's got to play another chap from Risby Gate so whoever wins that will then go into the final and then whoever wins the game out of Aaron and Stephen will then play the winner of their game so again it could be Mark it could be the other chap Oh, James is close here.
Oh, that's a great hit by James. I think that's just uh, it's made it very, very difficult. It's made it very difficult now. I think Wayne and, and Richard were holding three or four then. So there you go then. So yeah, well played to Aaron and James. They did play well. It was a, a close game early on, but uh, Aaron and James just picked up a few big ends, and uh, and they got their nose in front. And then it was it was tough for for Wayne and Richard to then come back. So that is it for tonight's game. Uh, congratulations to Aaron and James. They are now through to the national pairs sem uh, final, area final. And they will face Mark Royal and his partner. So that is definitely a game that we're going to try and stream. We don't know where it's going to be played yet. So uh, that has not been confirmed. It might be this, but we will find out. We'll speak to Mark and, and once we have a location... A venue sorted out or then uh, create the stream and get, get some dates and everything so so uh, that is it for tonight uh, thanks everyone for watching don't forget if you're not already subscribed to bowls tv uh, head on over it's completely free to do so you can just click subscribe on the uh, bottom of the YouTube channel or uh, below the videos but there's a big button that just says subscribe so go and subscribe there and every time we upload new live streams or we go live you will get notified as long as you click the bell icon so thanks everybody for watching tonight really appreciate it another midweek game done and dusted the next stream coming up will be Saturday afternoon half past four as far as I can see at the moment, that's going to be the semi-final of the men's national triples between Akel and Turpins. So another good game coming up there. We hope to have two cameras Saturday afternoon for that game. Yep, so uh, if you want the live stream for Saturday afternoon, then just go to the YouTube channel. It should be on there by tomorrow afternoon. Or go to our Facebook page and then you can also get the link from the Bowls TV Facebook page as well. So thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. Hope you enjoyed the game. Tune in again Saturday afternoon at about half past four where we will be going live with the men's national triples semi-final. So thanks everybody for watching and take care. That is it for Bowls TV tonight. We'll see you in the next live stream. Bye for now.